Hey, what up fam and welcome to OpenX official Twitter page. So they shared this five hours ago. It says before updating, make sure to back up your private key or mnemonic phrase or you might lose access permanently. You can also use the web version at ox.to. Backed up mnemonics can be imported into any web three. And I'm wondering why do they think we want to update the app to the latest version of what use will there be, right? So let's find out by updating. And as it is stated here, if you have not saved your mnemonic phrase or private key already, you better do that before you update. So over here on Google Play Store for Android users. So for Android users, you can head over to Google Play Store and enter a search. So I'll click on update on Google Play Store here and it's updating. So while that is going on, let's check the about this app page to see what and what has been improved so updated on may 8th version 1.0.27 um release permission um i don't think they've, they've they've even stated what and what has been fixed or something is this just for the sake of updating or what exactly well we check when the app launches Alright, so I don't know, but the app is refusing to install. So let's just use the web page. I hope it's up to date as well. So this is it. So here you import your wallet since you already have OEX Lite. So you paste your private key or seed phrase here and click on import wallet. So by the way, let's have one last look at the old app before we log into the web page to see what and what is new. My balance is worth six dollars at 7.58 core so let's check the hub trades so guys i can't hide the fact that this project disappointed the living daylight out of me all right for, so for some of you who haven't backed up you can see the backup here under history so this way you can get your um, private key or seed freeze so you tap on it and you input your password then you copy then you set your wallet password six digits combination of numbers and you confirm it click on confirm this is the web fashion what's the big deal here my balance is still six dollar worth how can we access the other you know features accelerate your gaming experience with grid browser oh it's an ad where is the menu though let's click on the wallet symbol here the wallet um, symbol there will take you to the wallet interface where you can import another wallet if you want. So it looks like we don't have other features here. Settings, just backup, network core, mainnet, switch wallet. Okay, there's nothing else here to see, just your wallet and nothing more. So you, you can actually send your tokens, right? So that's all for now. Since the app itself is not downloading, this is the most we can get from the web page. Well, what else is here to see? Hub, AGIEX. So we've claimed over 100%. These guys are really not serious. Something that was supposed to stop at 100% now, we have claimed over 134%. All right, honestly, this project disappointed me. Like, I had high hopes, very high hopes. I contributed a whooping 251 core tokens. Can you imagine that? That's the amount I contributed. And then they fucked up big time. So guys, maybe only when the new app is updated, we'll find out if there is any, you know, new updates. 
So I'm saying here yeah, Satoshi points. And then why is it showing this sign? Pending, waiting for confirmation. What does that even mean? EGIX this, trading points this. You know, it's so fucked up here, right? Well, honestly, I was hoping if we can update the app, we will find something new and something interesting, right? Unfortunately, there's no such thing as the app is refusing to update. Right, 100% and then can't install. Try again and if it still doesn't work, see common ways to fix the problem.